Welcome to our tutorial about the Format function. This function provides the user with the ability to format data in a particular way. This instruction is carried by a string expression. Let's say I want the user input to be formatted as currency. Let's learn how to make it happen. So the result is displayed in the currency that you've set up on your local computer system. Let's take a look at another example. Let's say percent. Click OK to run our script. And here's our percentage. Click OK, double click to open the script again. Let's take a look at our next example. Here we've got a user-defined numeric format. First, we have the pound sign. This is a digital placeholder. Pound signs will display digits, if they exist, in their place. But if there are no digits, nothing will display. Another example of a digital placeholder is the number zero. If digits are there, they will display. If no digits are there, then you'll see zero. OK, let's learn how this works. Let's click OK to run our script. And here is our result. Let's click OK and return to our rule. This format also supports decimal points and commas. Let's take a look at another example. The capital D argument returns the date formatted in long form. Let's see what that looks like. Click OK to run the rule. OK, and let's get back to our script. If we enter a lowercase d, the date is returned formatted in short form. OK, and here we go. Let's go back to our script. Let's comment this out and take a look at one last example. Here we have a user-defined time format. So let's see how that looks. OK, double click. There are a number of different date and time formats, as well as numeric formats. In this example, I show you just a few of them. This concludes our tutorial about working with format functions. In our next lesson, we'll take a look at the input box function.